Hi, my name is Emma, and today I'm going to be doing a full face of kids makeup challenge. Nikki Tutorials started this challenge, and lots of other people have done it, and now we're going to do it. When I was six, on this channel, I used to do little makeup tutorials where I had kids makeup and stuff. I mean, it wasn't as, like, quality makeup like this stuff. This is, like, powder makeup, where the makeup I had when I was six was, like, these little gel makeup. I don't think I'm good at putting on the blush. To wash this off. Or can blend it. One Monster High kit that I had had fake lashes in it, and we didn't find any of that, but we've got enough to make up for it. And since I am only 12, I am not going to be doing any of the contouring or highlighting other people are doing, but if you want to see that, you can go check out other people's stuff. And my brother Mike is also right there, so you guys will probably be able to hear him in the background a lot. So the first thing I want to start off with is some BB cream. It's in Color to Light, and to everyone who's ever done this challenge, it matches their skin tone, but I don't know if it will mine. But I also got a brush set from Claire's. I don't think it at all really matches my skin tone, but maybe, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. I'm using an eyeshadow brush, and I'm, because they don't have a foundation brush for me to use. All they have is a blush brush and tons of different smaller brushes. So, I guess it's going pretty well so far. I don't know, other people, other people who do it are like, oh man, it's streaky, and I'm over here just like, it's fine, probably because I'm a kid and I don't know too much about makeup. I want to blend it with my fingers in a bit because it's streaky and weird. And that is, that is my little baby brother over there. So now that I've done that, I'm going to do some eyeshadow. And I have lots of different eyeshadows to choose from. I have this one, which is a Fashion Angels one. And I've got this giant kit from Pink Fizz full of, full of lots of different eyeshadows and lip gloss and tons of different makeup stuff. And then I got a Barbie Barbie makeup kit where it has lots of stuff in it. So here we have all the stuff. These two little things are soft lip gloss. These are the blush. These are the pearl lip gloss. And this is a whole thing of lip gloss. So this is basically just a lip gloss kit. So we've got that. So we've got the heart palette open. Then we have this, this brush, and ah, oh, the brush has lots of hair ties in it. Lots of hair ties in it. I was wondering what this little compartment was. I thought it was just a mirror that flips up, but no, it's a compartment that has a hair tie explosion. <gasps> lots of shimmer glitter. And then we have lots of nail polish. We have lip gloss and lip colors. So here we have these, and they have sticky things on the back of them so I can stick it wherever I want. Nope, that didn't work. Stick it wherever I want. No, oh, it fell. I got cute feathers. I got a flower headband, a flower crown. It's not exactly a flower crown, but it's a flower headband. And I also got mascara. I'm going to do a greenish blue look because, because that, that's nice. So I'm gonna take this brush and take some of, some of, this, some of this color and put that on my lid. This brush does not feel nice on my lid. It's pokey. It's, it's, it's very sharp. It's like a weapon. I'm gonna switch over to this brush because this brush seems like it might work better. It's the brush that I used for my BB cream. I'm gonna add a bit of some light blue because I want to get that turquoise look in there. I don't know if I can because it's light blue and it's kids makeup so I don't know if that'll show up too well. So I'm gonna put this light blue on my inner corner, see if that works out well. I go in with a darker blue because that one's not at all showing up.
I guess that kind of, you can kind of see it. Subtle. All right, gotta go in with more on the other side. So I'm gonna go in with this dark kind of, dark, this dark blue that's kind of navy, and I'm gonna put it on my my outer V, and then go into the crease. These colors here, they're not too good with with uh, with with working. So try your best to get them on there. I'm gonna try and go in with some of this blue here and see if I can get a more of a solid blue. I guess, I guess that one's okay. I'm gonna go in and put a bit of a highlight on my brow bone. I'm gonna use this color right here on the palette and one of these. This is a sponge tip applicator. All right, so now that I've got that, I'm just gonna put it on my brow bone. And so now that I've done that, I'm gonna go back in with some green and put it in the middle. I'm gonna put it right on the ball of my eye and I'm gonna use I'm gonna use another sponge tip applicator because all my other brushes, I don't know. Just gonna use one of these. Alright, so I'm gonna do some blending in that and I'm worried the blending's gonna kinda mess it up a bit, but but it's gonna, I, I hope it'll turn out fine. So I'm gonna use this light, light green color and put it on my under eye, like as a under eye liner. So now I'm gonna go in with the same brush and fill in my eyebrows with this color here. It's the only brown color besides uh, nothing. So, I'm gonna use this. I'm not gonna do some fancy eyebrows like all the other people did because I don't normally do that to my eyebrows, so. Alright, so now I'm going to attempt to do some glitter eyeliner with this, and I don't know if I should use the green or the blue, but I don't know if I'll be able to do glitter liner because all these colors didn't really show up too well, and I doubt the glitter will show up too well either, but might as well give it a shot. So I'm going to go in with the green glitter. Oh wow, oh wow, that's, that's, oh, it was a lot more than I thought it would be. It's a sticky type. I thought it was going to be like glitter. Well, the glitter's not working out too well, but it doesn't work as a liner, but I guess we could use it as sort of a shimmer on the lid. And it also kind of gets the eyeshadow away a bit. So now I've got a big mark of my skin right there. It's like, I have to go on with green again because, would you look at that? Well, the glitter liner didn't work out at all and, and it doesn't really work for anything else because it ruins the eyeshadow, so. So now I'm going to put on some mascara and then move on to the blush. I know some people who did this used fake lashes and I don't know if that works too well for it because it's kids makeup. I don't know if kids make up exactly as false lashes but from what mommy told me is that the Monster High one had, had false lashes in it. So now that I've got that, I'm going to move on to my blush. 
And there's tons of different blushes to go to at the moment. I have this weird liquid blush. I'm not gonna use that, because that'll look weird. Uh, I'm gonna use this one. Just apply it like I would. It's, it's, this is a humongous brush. Just gotta use that. All right. Now I'm going to move on to the lips. And I have this gigantic palette of lip gloss. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some lip color on it and then put some of the gloss on, some of the pearl gloss. I'm going to go in with a red one because red is a nice color. So I'm going to put that on and then go in with one of the pearl glosses. Nothing's happening. Absolutely nothing. Or maybe a slight difference. It doesn't go on too well, and after you put it on, it feels a bit oily, I guess. It doesn't go on well at first, but if you do it enough, it'll work. So. I've got tons and tons of gloss to choose from. I've got the matching gloss that I could do, but I've got a whole pound of gloss. Oh, it smells very strongly of baby powder. So I've got the pearl glasses and I've got the normal glasses, and I'm gonna go in with the pearl gloss because they're real fancy. I'm trying my best. All right, so I've got that on. Try to get it on there. So now that I have done that, I'm gonna go in with some glitter and put it on my lips because you can't have too much glitter. I mean, it's kids makeup, you know, gotta put all of the glitter on it. I'm gonna go in with the sponge applicator because I feel like that'll work better than last time. It's not the best glitter, it's more of a liquid glitter. Michael's making lots of noises. And there we have lots of glitter that will never escape my life. All right, now I have my accessories, which is my flower headband and my and my feather earrings. So I've got to put these on, and I'll be and I'll be finished. Yay! Kids makeup fun. But now I've got that on. I'm gonna go with some feather earrings. All right, so that completes this look, and now I have a full face of kids makeup and accessories from Claire's. So there we go, there you have it. I wouldn't wear it out, but I feel like if I wore it out, nobody would find it weird. Cause I'm a child. People would look at me and be like, why is a child wearing makeup? It's ruining her brain. So that's what they'd probably be like. But then they'd also be like, oh look, it's a kid just having fun with makeup, yay. But I definitely wouldn't wear this out. I'd wear just normal makeup, like, like any normal human does. So I usually do makeup stuff, usually cosplay stuff. I don't do normal everyday makeup looks, but whenever I'm almost 13, so whenever I turn 13, I might get my own channel and I might do some everyday natural makeup looks and makeup challenges and lots of other fun videos that are lifestyle YouTuber types. Oh, he's gonna grab my earrings. Oh, he's got my earrings. Yeah, oh, he's got my earring again. I was pulling it. <laughs> So here's my little brother that you've been hearing this whole video and he's trying to get out to get out of my arms. But I hope you enjoyed this makeup challenge. Please comment, share, subscribe, thumbs up, and follow us here and bye Jimmy. Yeah, that's true. Oh, that's it. Oh, ah!